Hello there, and welcome to Genshin Impact. Hmm? Ah, hello. Are you here for something off the shelf, or do you need something forged? Excuse me, Master Zhang. We were wondering if you'd heard of something called a Wonder Core. Of course I have. Sorry, um, who's asking? Oh, someone else who's never heard. My name oh. is Yunjin. Perhaps you don't know me, but I believe that you forged some weaponry for my father in the past for stage use. Oh, for stage use. Yunjin? Stage use? Oh, so <clears throat> you must be Miss Yoon. <clears throat> Sorry, my brain's finally caught up. <sighs> It's not used to doing much beyond bashing a hammer all day. <laughs> Everyone's heard of you, Miss Yoon. Even folks who don't make it to the opera all that often. <laughs> like myself. <laughs> yep, we all heard of you. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So, you're here to ask about wonder cores, huh? As it happens, I do know how to make them. Matter of fact, I made some for Lady Ningguang back when she was building the original Jade Chamber. The types of ore needed to make wonder cores are a little hard to come by. Lady Ningguang supplied them herself last time. I don't suppose you've brought any yourselves? I can't say that I have. No, we were gonna ask you what kinds of ore we need. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> sure. Well, you'll need two kinds: star splinter iron and sabrosium. I guess I've never heard of these before. Sabrosium? If what? I remember correctly. Lady Ningguang sourced her star splinter iron from the Mount Tianhung area. They say it resonates with visions. Mm. It could take some work, but if you stick with it, you'll find some eventually. As for the Sabrosium, though, hmm, that's trickier. It's all but unheard of on the market. Then where do we start? Uh, I'm really not sure. Sorry. What I've heard is that the people around Mount Tianhung have some sort of magic trick that can mm. pinpoint the location of the stuff. What? Wait, okay, I, I'm really, I, I find myself in moments like this, how simple I really am in life. I'm getting a kick out of the fact that this thing has like bro in the name. It's like some brosium, I guess. Brosium. Brosium, yes. Of course, it's Only bros. Only just hearsay. If you want my advice, start by looking for Star Splinter Iron around Mount Tianhung. And if you run into any locals, ask them a few questions about Sabrosium. Mount Tianhung. Interestingly enough, the story of the Divine Damsel of Devastation also takes place on that mountain. I hear the view there is quite spectacular. A favorite destination of the Adepti, in fact. Mm. Perhaps it can give me some inspiration. Let's not delay. We should head straight there. Fun. I'm sure no one will recognize uh, Shanhua. I, I'm kind of wondering, like, what's going to happen if this place is like all about like adeptus and everything. What, what the freak are we going to find in this mountain? Mm, maybe we'll just find our ore. <laughs> we just walk in casually, and it's just like, oh, there's our ore. We're done. Look at that! That was easy. Oh, nice. Oh, look, dirt, dirt, dirt. <laughs> I, I love me some dirt. I came once with my father as a child. I remember it being such a long climb that I could barely feel my legs by the time we reached the top. That oh, is, oh yeah, it. same. That's a gorgeous shot. My legs are so tired from walking in this game. Uh huh. <laughs> this is quite a trip down memory lane for me. Look at these majestic towering peaks this look like a face. and the gently flowing streams. It's like setting foot in paradise. All I see is someone judging me. Wait, where? See the eye and the nose? Oh! The eyebrow? No, why did you actually point that out to me? It just looks someone, like someone very just bored and just like, yep. No, they look asleep, man. I'm here. No wonder the legend of the divine damsel <sighs> of devastation see. is said to have taken place here. Adepti wander oft where mortals seldom stride. Indeed, this looks like a place that one might expect to be frequented by Adepti. The Divine Damsel of Devastation is your upcoming opera, right? And the story takes place in Mount Tianhang. Huh. Seems like you have a real connection with this place. What's the story about, though? It's the story of a girl becoming a hero. Oh. Mm. Cool! A hero story? They're Paimon's favorite! 
The legend first arose in this area. It is said that there used to be a prosperous village on the mountain. Mm. In that village, there was a loving couple who were completely devoted to one another. One day, huh. a terrifying monster appeared. Mm. The wife was out collecting herbs and was captured by the monster. Her husband was so distraught at the news that it broke his spirit and drove him to madness. Mm. The vile and vicious monster told the villagers, If you want to live, you must sacrifice a child to me. What a nasty oh. piece of work! Mm. Ugh. Paimon sure hopes this monster gets put in its place! <laughs> but the monster was so terrible and so strong that all within the village were terrified of it. They had no choice but to give in to the monster's demand. Mm. Just while they were discussing whose child would be given over to the monster, a little girl suddenly stood up and came forward. No! Don't do it, little girl! <laughs> Cough. <coughs> Unbeknownst to anybody else, she was concealing an exorcist's blade. She approached the monster's lair, feigning fear and trepidation. When she finally arrived, she courageously drew her sword and entered into a fierce struggle with the monster, from which she eventually emerged as the victor. I'm sure this doesn't sound familiar at all. Nah, this is just fiction. This, this is not a real story being no retold. No ancient god being battled here. No, and it's definitely not Shen He. Definitely not. Not Those at all. Extraordinary abilities drew the attention of the Adepti, and they took her as one of their own. Her story became the stuff of legends. But alas, the paths of mortals and Adepti seldom cross, and she would never again re-enter the mortal world. And mm. so, destined to grace the mortal realm for but a brief moment, she vanished like a wisp of smoke into thin air. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the opera ends. Looks at Shen Hua. Uh, uh, look at Shen Hua could be a <clears throat> good option. Also remain silent is another good option. I actually don't know what to pick in this moment. I'm more curious to see what would happen. Uh, see what happens, you know? I really like this story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course you do. Oh, oh, man, I'm such a big fan of the story, especially the protagonist. Such a such a brave young soul. Such a such a heroic <laughs> and beautiful young lady, right? Oh, like, truly, a hundred percent. Oh yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Protagonist, mm -hmm. especially my favorite. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> yes. Uh huh. Ah. Anyway. But I personally think that perhaps the little girl was. <sighs> Not as brave as the opera makes her out to be. I'm not sure she deserves all the praise she is given. Mm. Oof. Mm, I've never considered that before. Opera is always an interpretation of the events it purports to portray. A certain degree of deviation from the truth is always inevitable. So is it with tales. That's how we have all our modern myths. Did, like, for a split second, those waterfalls turn off? They did, suddenly became did, black. Did someone just like turn the nozzle or something? Like it's just like they were running like bath water, and they were like, "Oh crap, I, I'm overflowing." One sec. Yeah. Oh, oh wait, no, nope, we're good. My father wrote the script for this play. I suppose his intention was to inspire his audience with the character of the divine damsel. I wonder if she can sue. Wait. Mm. <laughs> I think it's a great story. <laughs> the ideal story. I'm assuming a little nicer than how things went down. Well, it sounds like she was terrified, probably. Let's go get ourselves some star splinter iron! Yeah! Oh, nice. it's the abandoned village where everyone's dead. That place. Oh! Wait, is this that place? It's that place. Oh, wow, it's been a while since we've oh, been wait. here. Oh, wait, react to a vision. Actually, hold on. Who has. No, that's. Okay, yeah, yours will do. Does that mean it glows when you're nearby, or do you have to use your elemental sight? I assume it just glows when it's nearby. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, wait, oh, wait. wait. What? Okay. Eh. So, what do we do when it's it starts glowing? Oh no, it's just pulsing. Oh well, it'll pulse faster, I guess, the closer we get. I wonder if it's up this instead. Maybe. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's a thing. Oh. Ge Geo sigil. 
Oh, maybe it was up here. Yeah, that's definitely looking good. Oh, well, that's okay. Star Splinter Iron acquired. Now just to find one more. Bright orange glowing rock. Giant glowing orange rock. So it's not as hard as we thought. Okay, I thought it was gonna be like Well, it was covered by <laughs> I, I, still I thought it was gonna be freaking invisible. That that's an upgrade from what I thought. Uh we just we have this entire circle to check, so I assume it's up this. Is it gonna be up here or is it gonna be like lower? Well, we would have seen it if it was lower. True, true that. Uh, PTSD? Okay. <laughs> Daniel, don't think back to when we played Zelda. That doesn't matter. That I'm not is... gonna start slipping. I'm not gonna start slipping. It's You're fine. not gonna start slipping. Fine. Unless Everything's they fine. add that as a mechanic in this game in the future. Better not. For an update. Water area, don't do it. I think Fontaine would be so much better with slippery mechanics. I think it'd be better if we just focus on it being like England. So slippery mechanics. No, no slippery mechanics. Just like fun, fun, fun times, fun times, mechanical wonders. You know, that jazz. If it's England, it's gonna be a lot of cloudy days, my dude. Oh, what am I too far away from my objective? Yeah, no. I'm in your it. circle, gosh darn it. Nope. What do you want from me? Get back down there, Daniel. <laughs> Apparently, this was wrong. Sorry for being so. Wrong. You were pretty wrong. How how could you be Sorry, so wrong? I just assumed that it would be up. Oh, you assumed? Ew, gross. Who assumes? Actually, I don't need any more Geo Sigils. Kinda all Geo Sigiled out. Wait, you bought everything? Yeah, I bought everything. It's cheap. What do you mean? Holy crap, man. I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem. That's exactly what someone with a problem would say, you know? You got a problem with me, bruh? That is exactly what you would say if you had a problem. But I don't have a problem. Bruh? Yeah? There it is. Oh, gosh. <laughs> the whole, the whole vision thing wasn't really necessary, honestly. It could have just been like... It was just to help you, basically. Star Ow! Ow. Yeah, I just need to find that Sabrosium. I think I saw a village on our way here. Sabrosium. Master Jong said we should ask the locals. Sabrosium. Why don't we try there? Hello there, my dude. You're not gonna recognize a certain someone, are you? Hey, there really is someone here. It'd be awkward if it was her dad. Yunjin, looks like you were right. Excuse us, sir. Can we ask you something? <gasps> this is not gonna be her dad, right? Huh? He didn't seem. To oh, is he a that. ghost? Hello, sir. We were just passing by and wanted to ask if you happen to know anything about Sabrosium. <sighs> Is he trying to tell us to look for clues in the village? Well, whatever. Guess we're on our own here. Shenhua, Yunjin, let's have a look around. Sorry, you can go ahead without me. I'd like to have a word with this gentleman. Can I exercise okay him? With you. Uncle Ming Jin. Oh, it's her uncle. It's. It's. What? Shen He. Shen He. You're alive. The rumors were true. So, all these years? I'm sorry, I don't know how to find Sabrosium. But I think you can find some information in the village. I love how he's went from moaning ghost two points to now I'm just having a casual conversation with everyone. Hi guys! Does that mean all the ghosts we encounter can actually just talk? Does that mean all the ghosts who go just can talk normally the entire time? Maybe. I mean, that's what I would do to freak someone out. Throws a wrench at Scooby Doo, man. <laughs> oh, I know you! Yeah, no, it's around the corner. Oh, uh, it's, it's, it's Frank. Frank! I know you! From fifth grade! Frank, what's up? Oh, what's up, bruh? <laughs> It's been so long. <laughs> okay, weirdly enough, I don't think I, I've n ever known a single Frank, by the way. R really weird fact. Mm. This place is deserted now. No one ever comes here. So you can rummage around all you want. Mm. Huh? You know this guy, Shenhua? She literally just uh, said uncle. I don't think it takes that much to put this together, Paimon. Thank you, kind sir. We'll go and take a look around. Don't worry. 
Ming Jun has no ill intention towards Miss Shenhe. She'll be quite safe. Mm. Okay, then let's see what we can find in this village. It's, it's literally just. I think it's just me, right up here, me, like quite second. literally. I, I, just, I just need that. The remains of a god, an abandoned village, Mount Tianhong. A branched family of exorcists used to live in the east of the village, but around two weeks the mother died of a disease, the young daughter went missing, and shortly after the father hanged himself in a tree in the yard of his own house. It's been confirmed that the traces of an evil god's remains were found in the village. The villagers are panicking and no one is certain though, whether the evil god's remains are gone for good. Do be careful when you're in this area. Uh, Daniel, is there a reason you've become Irish? I don't know. Just felt right. <laughs> what do you mean it just <laughs> felt right? Uh, I mean, I'm not... No, I am definitely questioning it, but I'm going to let you have that because it was very entertaining. Just go wild with that, man. Thank you. For that one letter. <laughs> for that one letter. That one Irishman in China, basically. Shoutouts to you. <laughs> Does this mean... That the true story of the Divine Damsel of Devastation happened right here, in this village? Uh, maybe? Mm, definitely not. I mean, time maybe it did. certainly matches. So it seems we're in the right area. Let's keep looking around. Is she gonna rewrite the entire story by the end of this? I guess. What was that thing that just plopped into us? <laughs> Elements. Oh wait, did you not want to touch the barrel? The giant glowing green barrel? Wait, what? What's with the There's another glowy thing. Yeah, it's the object. But I want this chest. But that barrel was green! What was with the green barrel? Hmm? Oh, is that just Oh, there's a chest to the right. Huh. What's this? The doctor said you are gravely ill. Don't worry, I'll give you that. Don't worry, I'll give you everything I have to save you. My heart bleeds whenever I see you getting weary, your illness beyond treatment. Oh, however, I wish I could suffer the pain for you. You said I had no regrets in this life, that you only wished for me to take good care of Shenhua. But you regret nothing. Why the tears? I don't know where... Uh, I don't know what I've been doing lately. Though I breathe, I feel like an empty shell. I've read all the ancient texts and all I could get my hands on, looking for ways to save you, but it's utterly futile. I finally found it. It was a Mugen. Mugen? He had kept the book that could save you hidden. I took it and followed the instructions to summon the god and offer a sacrifice. Ah, the ancient god's remains were his mother, with her mother's. Fun. Oh, we're going all like full male alchemist on this. Ba, ba, ba. Okay. <clears throat> the god appeared. I told him I was willing to exchange my life for yours. He kept silent and only pointed at her daughter, Shenhua. God said that her fate was the bear the curse of calamity and she was prone to bring harm to those close to her. The god also said that she might even be the cause of her death. And in that case, I thought that I should. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So wait, it wasn't the mother's remains. He, uh, the, the father literally tried to summon this evil god to heal his wife. Oh, this got very dark. Okay. Dang. I left her in the cave that the god mentioned. Three days have passed and still no news. I got a restless of waiting, seized by an ominous feeling. I'm sorry, my love. Forgive me. You too, Shenmue. Please forgive me. How stupid I was! How blind I am! Let me apologize to the both of you in the person. Oh, wait, wait. So he wait, hanged himself. He hanged himself. But wait, the wife wasn't dead yet. She no, died. the wife she, was dead. Oh, she did die? Yeah, no, she died. The last letter said she died. Oh, I thought she was, like, still maybe... No, he's dead. Here. She's dead. Oh... Oh, rip. That's why I said, let me beat you both in person. And oh. He hung himself. Uh. Okay, yeah, because he says um, that she may, might have even been the cause of your death. Gotcha. So that's how that... Okay, got it, got it, got it. This is a true story of the divine dams of devastation. Well, this is more Where of What do you think the name came from? This is, this is like a so, horror story. Shenha is the divine damsel? Hey! <laughs> uh, Whoa! Uh, Daniel! Oh my you, goodness! You gave it away, I think! Oh! I, uh, I never knew. Now that I think about it, she does behave rather like an adeptus. 
And she is about the right age. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so that's why I've been getting the strangest feeling whenever I chat with her. I should have noticed it earlier. You ain't gonna snitch, right? According uh. to this text, the divine damsel from the opera was actually the daughter of the loving couple. Mm. Oh boy. And she didn't volunteer. She was sacrificed to the monster by her own father. Jeez, father mm. of the year award goes to not him. Mm. Oh. The truth is even more lamentable than the opera. Now I understand why Shen He said the girl was not as brave as people think. It wasn't her choice to enter that ghastly situation. She was forced into it. How fun. Oh, it looks like my father may need to make a few revisions to his beloved opera. Hey, we've looked everywhere, but still no mention of Sabrosium. Oh, oh. Let's have a look over there. Continue searching the records for the ore. We just got this giant bombshell. Ooh, let's chat with these guys. Also, I forgot to say, uh, apparently, uh, we also need to keep an eye out because apparently there may or may not be people, like, somewhere in the background that we can talk to. I don't know. Uh, mm -hmm. someone was really, really awesome in the comment mm -hmm. section of our last video and they let us know to just always keep Astron an eye grass. out. Astron Grass, get out of my pocket. <laughs> so, I'm wondering if, like, Cloud Retainer is, like, chilling in one of these scenes or something. Maybe. But Oh, I, I wish I could look up right now. I can't really see much at the moment. <laughs> Admittedly, this is pretty difficult. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um. Rise. Yeah, that's what so I shall. <sighs> yes. Gosh darn it. So apparently we're just supposed to keep our eyes out. I don't know when exactly that we're supposed to keep our eyes out in this quest, but like... Because they were really cool. They didn't spoil anything. They just like keep your eyes open. They like just like be, be aware. Some peeps maybe in the back. Like background somewhere. So yeah, I don't see anyone here other than Shen Ha and her uncle, so we can chat with them. And Those are just some bandits. I see, I think, a hilly trail way off in the distance, so I think we're good right now. Should be fine. I came back here once before, a few years ago. Alone. I hid it from Master at the time. Mm. It was deserted then, too. Except for a few low-life bandits. Oh. Everyone and everything I remembered was long gone. But as people were passing by, they stopped to admire me. They praised me, telling me I gave off the aura of an adeptus. I tried explaining to them that I wasn't an adeptus, just an ordinary person who came from this village. But no one believed me. Mm. Oof. When I saw how run down all these houses were, I felt at a loss. It was like I took a look at the world, and on the surface, it looked like a vast realm with so many places I could go. Then I looked a little closer, and there was nowhere for me to go at all. Aww. Oh. Suddenly, so much time has gone by. Everything has changed. Last time I visited, I felt so upset. But today... I don't know why, but it feels different. It's because you got your friends with you. Power of friendship and all that. Friendship's pretty hype, I tell you. Aw, yeah. It is easy for your mind to run wild when you are alone. But this time, you are with your friends, aren't you? Yes, my... My friends. Yeah. Can I talk to you? I came back here one oh, okay. No, okay. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. 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 It's not that bad, Dale. There's so many of them on the map. Doesn't matter. It's so time consuming to grab so many. I could have gone through the hole in there, but I don't care. I would have this is more convenient. Actually, I don't know if you would have been Oh well, yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would have been able to. Okay, we'll pick up the thing. There we go. Another letter. <clears throat> oh never mind. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Magic can create on the sub. <laughs> 
Sabrosium. Sabrosium does not wear off easily. Some believe the bridge is between. The, never mind, it's. I've lost it. The stone is the bridge. Uh, the stone is the bridge between the living and the dead. <laughs> However, finding Zabrosium is no easy matter. You need to be at the right place at the right time. Legend has it that you may find Zabrosium if you stand in the middle of the lake of the Shaft Mountarium at the dusk and look in the direction of the setting sun. How many accents <sighs> can you actually fit in the one sentence, <sighs> honestly? I heard Irish. Maybe some of your Victor came out there a moment. I think your basic voice was there somewhere mixed in. <sighs> and probably a few other things that I totally just could not register considering half of what you said sounded sort of like gibberish, but <sighs> I did get what you were saying. Good job making a new language, <sighs> Daniel. Thank you. <laughs> or a new me. accent? Not the an accent. A, not a language. Forger. Accent, yeah. Uh, this is it, yes indeed. So basically, we need to go to the middle of the lake south of Mount Tianhung at dusk, and we'll find us some Sabrosium. Thank you for translating. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Baimon, your <laughs> lifesaver. I wonder where exactly we're supposed to like look for people in the background, because I assume it would be here, if anywhere. Yeah, I feel like this would be the part where like someone would be like, I could take a peek, see up there real quick. Yeah, let's just just run up here real quick, <coughs> see what's up here. Obviously, why not? Uh, apparently we are going to the dendro area up here. Oh hey, yeah, yeah, look behind you. I want to see. Like, no, this that's is not like the dendro. Well, it could be potentially. There's the chasm. What is the chasm even gonna look like? Uh, apparently. Oh, actually, that's a named location now. I uh, know. I think it's always been there. Oh, I assume that'll actually be our road to uh, the Dendro place. Dendro. Oh, wow. There's literally a ro Yeah, that's probably it's it, That's probably it. It's probably literally uh, over here. So below us is going to be an area they'll probably add on eventually. Probably. Does it look like anything in particular? Absolutely. Uh, mountains? Uh, oh, literally. is that going to be the Shneznaya area over there? Hold on. Quake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> let's get a tactical view. If you had Venti, this could be even better, admittedly. There's a big rock in the way. That looks like a snowy mountain over there. Or this could just be... What the freak is... Wait, whoa, that? whoa, 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 what's that? Is that Inazuma? Wait, wait, aim your character that way. Oh, no, that would be Inazuma. <laughs> That's so cool that we can see oh, that! It's the, uh, like, the uh, lightning the area. I remember. Oh, that's... But where are those? Holy crap, Genshin, I freaking me. love you. Weird. Thing, oh, it pops up. in and out. Yeah, it's like it's, it's trying to figure out if it should render it or not. It's anyway, like that's just generic insert. I backgrounds over there. Okay, that's pretty hype. I like how the game's like, uh, boss, are we supposed to be rendering this or not? They're supposed to be able to see this. But uh, mm, yes. <laughs> at no. the same time, yes. Like that's a lot to render, boss. Like, can we can we change it just slightly, maybe? Oh my gosh, that's pretty funny. Oh. We do, we do. I, I'm not seeing anybody. I'm guessing it'll be more obvious than we're making it out to be, because I, I don't think it would be this Probably. obscure. Because dang, this would be obscure if there actually was someone just up here. So obscure. Dude. Like, how far in the background are we talking here? I have no idea. I wonder. It's not, it's not those guys. It's not their... Nothing really there. Yeah, no, I don't see anything. Unless they're up there, jeez. No, there's no way. With the quest being like right to your left, yeah, there's there's no way they're gonna do that. Nah, I don't think Cloud Retainer's here. I'm guessing we're looking for a crane, right? I'm just looking for anything. <laughs> a, a single person would do. Oh well, stop we back. One year when I was back visiting. I heard a story about a white-haired adeptus from a merchant passing by. I never imagined it was you. I was a very close friend of your father's. I could have stopped him from performing the summoning ritual. I had plenty of chances, but I couldn't bring myself to stand up to him. I just let things happen, let it all escalate. And, well, we all know how that story ended. I bring flowers back here every year. And each time I wish I had a chance to apologize to you. Apologize for what? If you'd stopped him, he'd only have found another way. 
There is nothing he wouldn't have done for his true love. Nothing. Oof. Do you still hate him? It's complicated. <laughs> I don't know what I feel. I'm told my fate is to bear the curse of calamity, so my master bound my soul with red ropes to curb my aggression. But it also dampened my emotions, making me dispassionate, like the Adepti. Mm. So if you ask me how I feel about the past, if I hate my father or not, the truth is, I feel nothing at all. <sighs> that would suck. Yeah, that actually sucks a lot. It feels nice to feel things. Yeah. It must have been so tough for you all these years. Shenha, we're back! Oh, then I will leave you all in peace. Shenha, it brings me some solace knowing that you are okay. I'll tell you more about the old times next time we meet. Hmm. Thanks, mister. We found some info in the end. <laughs> okay, bye. She's just casually walking off now. Okay, goodbye. Hopefully that brought some more pep in his step. Shenhua, look. Some closure. It tells us how to find Sabrosium. All we gotta do is go to the middle of that lake. Hmm. Let's go then. Hmm. <sighs> Wait, what? What? Miss Shenhua. There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Hmm? What? Just now, in the village, we found your father's diary. It turns out that many of the details in the Divine Damsel of Devastation are not true to the facts. So I'd like to change them. Hmm, she's probably fine with how it was before. Why? <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. Okay. Why would you like to change it? I know I say that opera always deviates from the truth, but now that the main character is standing right here in front of me, I cannot simply dismiss your lived experience in favor of my father's fiction. Mm. It's okay. I like your version. <laughs> it's not as depressing. B uh, yeah? Uh huh? My master once said that the day I learn how to use my strength for the good of others, is the day that I can truly become part of human society. Hmm. So, I hope that one day, I might be brave enough to stand up and protect others, just like the girl in the opera. Aw, dang, man. But I've never thought this way before, and I wonder whether I will continue to think in this way. Uh -huh. Don't worry. I believe you will. Aw. In fact, I think maybe you've already started to become the person you aspire to be. You just haven't had the opportunity to see it for yourself yet. I love how much care and attention that Genshin gives its characters. Like, holy crap, man. <laughs> I, I mean, the whole gimmick is to make you want to pull for the characters, but they do a freaking bang-up job of doing that, man. Like, really good job. Indeed. Shinra, Yinjin, cut the chit-chat. Paimon, we're having a moment we're here! We're having a moment, Paimon! Really? For once, Paimon! Just, this is the God. one time I gotta say, Paimon, really? Hush up for a sec. We can't let someone else beat us to it! Really? No one else knows about it, Paimon! It's a secret aura! No one... Never mind. Whatever. Never mind. For Just, once, me and Paimon are not on the same pace. You know, like, I usually think everyone, like, like, just... Belittles Paimon. The belittling of Paimon, I never agree with it, even when Traveler does it. I, 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 It's funny, admittedly, sometimes. Okay, emergency food's funny, but I've never agreed with it. In that moment, Paimon, you ruined such a... Nice moment. It was heartfelt in everything. God. Come on! Ducks. <laughs> a lot of ducks. Try not to... Oh, uh, hey, wait, statue. It's cool. a giant freaking statue. I never noticed this. I did not either. This is really it's like pretty. It's holding a bouquet. How nice. There's a person. That's trying. Was that it? No, no. Uh, that's definitely got to <laughs> be it, right? <laughs> that wasn't very subtle with its. Uh, okay, that's background. Oh wait, no, wait. This is the quest. Is that? <laughs> Zhao's just like, sup guys. Hey. Oh, this is why we had to do that quest. That makes sense now. What brings you here? Have they found a solution to the danger in the sea? 
What? D danger? Danger? Nin Guang didn't tell you. Oh. Something has happened in Guyan Stone Forest. According to the contract, as an adeptus, I should not get involved for now. Oh, so this is what she needed the band-aids for, and this is also the reason that um, uh, uh, the crane said that like a storm is literally coming. It's literally in the sea. I assume the rest of the remains are breaking free. In okay, because we saw the snake in the trailer for it. Got it. Okay. Slight spoiler, Genshin, but okay. I mean, they gotta tease people somehow. So it's, it's a new box fight. But these things can be unpredictable. I have a contingency plan of my own. <laughs> Xiao's just like, if everyone else fails, I'll kill it myself. Oh no! There's an ancient god rising from the sea. If only we had a oh, god no, killer. Oh no! Only right? if we had some. Spiritual beings who could help combat it. I mean, Zhao is literally a god killer, actually. Oh no. Like, legit. I think he was, right? Or was he demons? Mm, demon killer. Demon killer, got it. Okay. He's a demon slayer. <gasps> <laughs> Only a single mountain lies between here and Liyue Harbor. What, are you gonna leap it in a single bound like Superman? If things get out of control, I will defend this place myself. Supperman? Supperman. It's a freak you want about. I don't know. Is that is that like the sidekick, the soup man? Soup man, supper man. Jeez. If you don't know what we're talking about, we had a oh, conversation with Soup Man in oh, Halo what Infinite. Need? Check Let's that out. If you want. Check out our other series. It's a lot of goofy Beto's fun. Curious if Beto's made any progress. Nice. Okay. Beto's so okay, so we're gonna go give these two stones to the master guy, and I'm guessing then everything's going to get a little crazy. Not that we're back in Leeway Armor. I can't. Oh man, I'm so happy that uh, we're giving all these rare minerals for free. You got this. To someone who has plenty of money to pay for it. N Ning Guang also needs to pay bills, Daniel. She runs the economy! <laughs> you make it sound bad, Daniel! It's fine. Oh, goodness. Goodness, indeed! What? So, are they okay? This is some top quality ore you found. I think I'll get a good end product out of these. <laughs> Did you actually low just almost break the chair? That sounded like a heavy schmack. <clears throat> I'm such an Ning Wan fan. Clearly. <laughs> God, I can't get enough of this character. I actually love Ning Guang. Daniel's just a hater, you know? <sighs> Not a hater. A disliker. Mm. Hey, everyone. How's the A-team doing? <laughs> Beto's just showing up to... Like, I'm ca here to cash in. Hi, so Beto. I ran into a bit of a brick wall on my end. Suling's never seen a Wonder Core before, and says it'd take a lot of research for him to get up to speed. Interesting. Oh well. Leave the Wonder Cores to me. I'll work on them while you go about your business. Thank you. Don't worry. <laughs> it won't take me too long. Gotcha, don't get robbed now. Much obliged, Master Zhang. We should look into the Adepti sigils next, but where should we find items relating to the Adepti? I actually have no Child idea. plenty. I'll sort that out. Oh, yeah, you literally have connections to the Adeptus. Yeah, was, yeah. Oh? Uh, you got this then? Mm-hmm. Yes. I have been training with the Adepti for years. I know a thing or two about making sigils. Oh, she can just make them. Okay. Nice. When we first met, I told you I came for the Jade Chamber, not the contest. Mm. In fact, I came specifically to deliver Adepti sigils. Master heard that Ning Wong was planning to rebuild the Jade Chamber, so she sent me to deliver some Adepti sigils to her. Look look at Cloud Retainer being nice in the background without telling anybody. Look at that. Master also said she hoped that I can take this opportunity to rejoin human society. But now that I'm here, I wonder if I've been removed from the world for too long. There's so much basic knowledge that I lack. Mm. I think it's more of being nice to her. Hey, it works. Uh-huh. Maybe it won't work for me to stay here after all. Mm. But either way, I'm very glad to have met you. And I'll take care of those adept eye sigils. But you're our friend. I mean, distance, do blah. distance doesn't change that, Daniel. True, I guess. 
Without knowing the ins and outs of your situation, I can't say whether you should stay or not. Bro, I'd love it if she just is actually just gonna join our party now. Like a main character of the quest, that actually would be pretty cool. Hmm? It's probably not gonna happen, sadly, but, not. but, you know. Ha! It's fine. But now that our paths have crossed, we'll always have a connection. So if you're ever feeling down, come find me on my ship. There'll be a drink waiting for you. <laughs> nice. Thank you. So, Master Zhang, I'll need to use your facilities to make the sigils. Hmm. Fine by me. I'm actually curious to see how the Adepti Arts work. Maybe I'll learn something. You're gonna get so lost, I'm sorry. Or maybe you're a genius. Maybe know. maybe he's a genius, Daniel, you never know. Ba ding ba boom ba ding. Done. The sigils are ready. Though they are in some respects inferior to my masters, I can assure you there will be no quality issues. Nice. I've finished forging the things you asked for too. Great! Let's go submit them before someone else gets there ahead of us. Oh but we don't have all the material, so it doesn't even matter. Uh, wait, or do we have all of them? Was, wasn't that the last bit? Oh, was it? I thought there was only three things, right? Huh. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, sadly, we're gonna have to end this episode here because that was actually the end of the quest, which I, means I'm taking it that the next part will be the boss fight? So a lot of things oh have to go wrong really quick here. I mean, we're gonna be dumb, so. I guess, perfect timing in all that jazz. <sighs> Wow, that looks really nice, actually. Is that just gonna be chilling here now? Probably. Or is oh, it I mean, up in the sky? Probably up in the sky when this quest is done, or blown up again. That'd be hilarious. Okay. At least that'd make me smile. <laughs> you just have a serious issue with Ningguang. With that, ladies and gentlemen, that's my money. <laughs> Daniel's gonna go work out his his relationship with him and Ning Ningguang. We're gonna give them some time, and then. With that, uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're having an incredible day or night wherever you are in the world. And we will see you guys Every journey in the next one. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Daniel, it honestly sounds like you have so much of an issue. She could be like your ex or something, admittedly. Like, just like, yeah. She's, 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 Might as well be. She took all my money. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, We're gonna end this. Yeah.